Good morning, afternoon, and evening travel wherever you are in the world. I'm your host, Lolly Hatcher. Today, we have a new deck profile for the October 2021 format or, or November 2021 format. And that is the best Cyber Dragon deck profile. You know, I posted a previous video that had a 49 card deck. This is now like, like a 44, 45, I think it was, where it's the finalized version. The last one I uploaded was the beta version, aka... I was still like working on it, but I was just like, okay, so here's a framework. Here's the model di down whim uh, size of it, you know? Take chat off stream? No, fuck you. Uh, yeah, we're live with twitch.tv slash long hand trap, so yeah. Uh, go check out stream there, and but yeah. Uh, we keep chat on here because uh, yep, chat, it can say whatever you want. Uh, first off, we have three Cyber Dragons, right? Uh, three Cyber Dragons, that's pretty uh, normal. Three Core, three Hers, one Veer, one Astro. Pretty simple um, run. Pretty simple lineup. Uh, if anything, I'd rather run like I don't know, weirdly double Veer, but at the same time, I'd rather dub run double Nashjar as well. Uh, but this is probably like the most optimal version when you're playing trying to play the Cyber Dark engine as well. So yeah, pretty much you play that. Uh, next up, speaking of Cyber Darks, you're playing two Claw, one uh, Chimera. So because I found out that cl Cannon is a useless card, you're playing uh, Claw because one is a Dragon for Cybernetic Horizon and two. Uh, it helps you search for Cyber Dark Realm as well. I've seen people run three claws, but the one issue with that is that even though you want to see it in hand, you don't really need to see it in hand because your extenders such as Cyber Repair Plan and Core basically Core searches it. Cyber Repair Plan basically is just another you know searcher to go off. Cyber Dark Realm is mostly meant to just go for the OTK play. You don't always need the power bond to go into the OTK play. Always, you can always go into just double rampage or whatever from there. So that's really just depends on how optimal you want to play. Next up, you're playing your for your hand trap line. Oh no, the rest of your light machines. Uh, one Galaxy Soldier, one Synchron. Synchron is a spicy tech card that people are playing because Cyber Dragons can run Shen Shen. Uh, double Jizukiru because this is a going second variant as well. Uh, I don't get why people play only three. I mean, only one when you really want to see this in hand as well, but not always, not all, really all the time. So you basically just search off a repair plant as well. Uh, next up, you're playing for your hand traps, 3 Ash, 2 Nib, uh, 3 Gamma, 1 Driver, 3 Imperm, and you're playing, because of that, Double Cross Out Designator. I'm sorry for the mismatch leaves, I'm not playing this deck anymore, because this deck is basically, um, it's hard to play in the current meta. If you really want to play in the meta, you have to play a bunch of hand traps, that's why I have a bunch of hand traps. Uh, gamma, I don't really agree with, with this effect of Imperm, but uh, it, it actually does help to have so pretty much you go from there you basically can are guaranteed at least seeing at least two hand traps per hand or one one or two hand traps i've break the hand traps before i drew three draw two ash that's the worst feeling i'm gonna say that uh next up you're playing three machine dupes uh three cyber emergencies two repair plants uh one horizon and one realm so basically just pretty standard i already explained it uh next you're playing uh one overload Overload Fusion, uh, one Cyber Load Fusion, one Power Bond, and one Call by the Grave as well. So that's pretty much it for the main deck. Next up, you're playing for your uh, extra deck. Uh, pretty simple, you're playing one Nova, one Infinity. The reason why is because you're going for OTK. This is just help you to go into the OTK. I remember I literally resolved Nova twice in the same game. That shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> literally should not be a thing. But it's because you can recycle Nova a lot of times and also um, Infinity as well. With Cyber Low Fusion by Banishir for cost, for material. Uh, one Arsenal is oh, AA Zeus. Two Rampage. One Mega, one Fortress. Double Mega Fleet. Basically because of the extra deck is being extra monster zones you use a lot. Uh, one Eternity Dragon. I actually want to bump this to two. Weirdly because you want to utilize your Cyber Dark's Engrave and also possibly recycle it. Because of Cyber Low Fusion as well. And also uh, other things as well. Uh, one Link Kribo. One Almirage, one Anaconda, and one Seeger. Uh, next up, you're playing one Shen Shen. And lastly, the spicy card you're also playing is Scarlet Red Dragon Archbeam. Basically, same thing as from the last beta list. So, yeah. Um, next up, you're playing for the side deck. Um, I think the last list, I did not have a side deck. But you're playing three, uh, two Veiler, three Droll, three Lancia, three Twister, uh, one Red Reboot. I'm mean, <laughs> one Feather Duster, one Red Reboot and two overflow as well so pretty much guys that's it for this deck profile hope you enjoy like subscribe whatever anyways i'll see you guys till the next bye